It's time for the Gizwiz with Mav's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1622, recorded Thursday, May 11th, 2017. Not the last straw. This episode of the Gizwiz is brought to you by Casper, an online retailer of premium mattresses at a fraction of the price, because everyone deserves a great night's sleep. Get $50 off any mattress purchase by visiting casper.com slash gizwiz and enter the promo code gizwiz. It's time for the Gizwiz on this episode. We have three more gadgets from Time to Play magazine, which means that we're going to have some good fun. And we launch into my next dog gadget, and of course, your viewer videos. All coming up next on the Gizwiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs. Growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, the CEO of Gadgetry, <laughs> Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing? I'm doing fine, sir. And you? Doing quite good myself. It c- couldn't be... Couldn't be better, yeah. Oh, you had some power problems, I heard. I did. Power went out over the week, so the Gizwiz computer shut down. And no matter what I try, webcams will never remember settings between a power outage. And we use a lot of webcams. You can see the glitchiness on this webcam right now. (laughs) Right, right. Uh, But uh, we use a lot of webcams for the Gizwiz, and they forget all their settings whenever uh, the computer gets turned off. So I tend to uh, keep the Gizwiz computer on. It's a pain to change, you know, all the webcams. Yeah, yeah. Get them to look exact. But other than that, it's been uh, been pretty good. How about you? Uh, Things are good. Uh, I have a mechanic up from Florida that I bring up once a year. So he's doing all the new uh, uh, stuff on my boat with, you know, and we ran the engine and we we got the top speed and um, it's a very peppy engine. So my little work boat now can go 44.3 miles per hour. Wow. Which is, yeah, it's it's pretty fast. Yeah, that is fast fast for a boat. Yeah, yeah. Now, do you have to worry when you get up to those top speeds about waves, about just crashing into a wave and then the boat launches into the air and then does you a know flip what? and then the ejector <laughs> seat and then rockets, right? Something like that. Uh, that only happens like every other week. No, <laughs> okay. this is, yeah. No, only on 4th I of July <laughs> when you can shoot off fireworks. When I used to have a race boat, which was uh, a 29 foot scarab with twin uh, 250s on it, yes, you could jump waves and leave the water. And you wow. would skip two or three waves and then come down. And uh, fortunately, because of the weight of the engines, it would tend to land tail first, yeah. which is what you want. But every once in a while, the boat would start to go forward, and you would go, oh, Uh-oh. please, Uh-oh. no, because that's when you're uh, possibly doomed, when the bow goes in first. Um, but anyway. Hmm. Very cool. Fun. Yeah. That's, that's All right. Awesome. Uh, oh, you know, I just wanted to mention, do you know Juicero? Have you heard that about the Juicero thing? Is that the name of the company? You know, you actually you mentioned it before we recorded, and I said no. But now that you mention it, I think... I think I might know what you're talking about. Yes, it's very funny. So it's a company that came out with a juicing machine that puts, I think it was four tons of pressure on these fresh fruit packets that they sell. And then you get juice. And the machine was $699. And then a reporter at Bloomberg News took one of the packs and squeezed it. (laughs) with her hand over a cup and got almost yeah the the same same amount of uh yes exactly here it is the 400 hundred dollar mixer this is from bloomberg yes so between her finding that and a couple days later it dropped from 700 to 400 there it is oh my gosh now did we cover something similar to this on the gizwiz 
Yes. Week was are you talking about the Carrig Cold? Yeah, I think so. No, no, no. Uh that that was uh I thought we covered something where you could put your own uh your own um uh what is it? A fruit into a bag and then it would squ- it would squeeze it out of the bag, but it was your own fruit. It wasn't Oh, 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 okay. Well, I <laughs> thought that we covered something very similar oh, to this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, I thought you were talking about Kara Cold, which was at the right. press conference. I, I didn't know what to say to the person uh, outside of, are you out of your mind? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it, it was the same uh, K-cup thing, except the unit refrigerated it, and you made instant soda, and unlike Soda Stream. You didn't uh, add CO2 cartridges. Somehow the chemicals in the K-cup made the uh, the uh, bubbles. And it turned out that the machine was $400. And it was $1.25 to make eight ounces of soda. Eight ounces. Eight, eight ounces. ounces. Yeah. yeah. And it didn't take... And it was made by... The, the K-cups were made by Coke. Coke was... Um, invested in this also, and then it dropped to two ninety nine, and then like uh, Juicero, they offered people there a full refund if they wanted. So it's interesting that there are certain you can only push people so far. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I I I swear that we we covered something that was very similar, and I wondered. Wait a second. Is this the gadget that we showed off or not? And I don't think that it is, uh, but I cannot, cannot find. Chat room, anybody remember that? Anybody I, remember I this? Don't remember us having a, a juicing machine. It was so similar. Uh, and and you put your own fruit into the bag, but... Maybe one. Maybe by the end of the episode, we'll we'll find it. But yeah, the okay. Juicero, uh Yeah, not not that. It all those type of stories make you wonder about all the gadgets that you get that are fancy and they make you go. Uh, I don't yeah, know. exactly, exactly. I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, we're not talking about things that cost hundreds of dollars. We're talking about things that uh, a couple of them just cost under twenty dollars. Uh, and as you mentioned in the intro, it's the second half of Fun Stuff I Found at the Time to Play magazine a Spring Showcase. And unlike Toy Fair, where it's gadgets that you see coming out for the holidays, these are gadgets that, for the most part, are out now. So you know about Pie Face. We played Pie Face where you do a spinner, uh, turn a little knob, have whipped cream on a hand, and if you hit the wrong notch, you get... Uh, pie in the face toilet troubles where you flush the toilet and if you are unlucky it sprays water on you now here's the next one from hasbro called egged on hey dick D. bartolo mads maddest writer and the gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv we're at the time to play magazine spring showcase and we're at hasbro Remember Toilet Trouble? We talked about that on the show a little while back. That's where you spin the toilet paper. It tells you how many times you have to flush the handle. Ah, 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 ah. And if you lose out, the toilet sprays water on you. All right. Now we have from Hasbro, egged on, egg roulette. Okay. So the same deal, a little spinner. It says, oh, pass. We don't want that. Uh, It says, do an egg. So these are real eggs, and some of them are empty, and some of them are full. So am I going to get egged on? Let us see. It said, crack one egg on your head. Ah! I escaped. (laughs) All right. So this is how it really works. Every one of these eggs is filled with water, but some of them, you know, I should get the person back here. Uh, pick an egg, press your luck. If it splatters, you're out. So I guess some of them can be filled with water. I guess you could fill it with milk, too, depending on how mean you are, or maybe an egg inside, an egg yolk. 
Uh, anyway, that's it. So it's called Egged On, the game of egg roulette, and it'll be out in May 2017. So we're recording this almost at the end of April. It'll be out soon, and it's under $20. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads, Madis, Rider, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Oh, it was a real egg. Not really. Bye. <laughs> so, uh, so some eggs break open and some don't, it seems like. Basically? You, Is that right? yeah, I, I, actually, they all break open. So you can play uh, it two ways. You can fill one egg with water. And then the person who pick, who accidentally breaks the egg with the water against them is the winner. Or you can fill all but like one of them with water. And then you take turns. And if it's a lot of people, everybody who gets wet is out of the game. And until you get down to two people and they play back and forth until one of them is wet and one person left hasn't broken one egg with water in it. So it's kind of fun. I, I think kids will love it. And as I said, it's under 20 bucks. So it's another way. And, and again, you know, I guess if you're clowning around, you could put peanut butter in there. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I saw actually what's funny is I saw this in the store recently. Oh, OK. So yeah, it is in the okay, I saw it it is out. Target. And uh, my thought, first thought was, but if you if you pick up an egg, aren't you going to feel from the weight that one of these is yes. filled and the other one isn't? I, that's kind of my yes, first thought. Yes, the so. eggs look the eggs look pretty good. I, I oh, guess yeah. they molded them on real eggs because when I first saw it, I thought, oh. well, who the hell is going to keep this buying fresh <laughs> eggs to put it in this game? Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I think it looks great, and uh, I actually ended up buying, instead of this, a different uh, product. Uh, by what the way, I, I ended up buying uh, Watch Your Mouth. Uh, oh, what? But they have this new Pie Face, Pie Face Showdown, where two people get in it, and you smash your button as fast as possible, and if this side mashes the button, the hand starts to move to the other side. So you're oh, trying how... to you're trying to hit the other person in the face uh, with uh, with whipped cream. So oh, that's great! I ended up buying that uh, for we did a stream. We did a uh, a longer like donation stream. Oh. So yeah, it was it was cool to kind of go and look at it. And I saw that game, and I ended up buying. Oh, I think Pie that's face great. Over. Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're coming yeah. out with some really fantastic in real life, like almost propped, you know, I like the, the, yes, all the yes, eggs yes, and the, yes, the yes. contraption to pie your friends and, and stuff and, like that. And even though it says kids will love it, it's the kind of thing where at, if we had these at the meetup, Absolutely. everybody would be in. It. Or if you're having a party with the family, it's a, it's a fun thing to do. And fairly harmless. You can just get a little wet or just get a little uh, whipped cream in your face and yeah. not too bad. Yeah, I agree. Okay, our second guy is from Zuru, who make a bunch of bubbles. And I guess I should have told you ahead of time. Uh, let's see, the first link is my old uh, bunch of bubbles video. Do you see that? Oh. And okay. we can just start that at 90 seconds in. Okay. For people who don't know what bunch of bubbles are, it's, it's a way to blow up 35 bubbles in under a minute. Uh, let me make sure that I got 19 seconds in, you said? Uh, a minute and 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Here we yeah. go. Yeah, and, and then because uh, we can just see how it, it works. Wait a second. I think, I think I have all sorts of different uh, things. I'm not sure which one. Oh, uh, okay. It should have been the first link in the, in, uh, on the website. Yeah, I think one of my links is broken because it keeps going to my videos instead of... Uh, okay, you know what? Here, uh, here's what I have. Let me just play this okay. and yep, see do it. if this is... Right. Hey, Dickie Rotolo, Mads, Mads, oh, writer, okay. and you the Gizwiz, one run. takes it okay. here at gizwiz.tv. We're on the Hudson River. Yeah. Oh, okay, so um, let me just reach back here for a minute. Okay, so a bunch of bubbles is you get these guys, you hook it to a hose, and the hose blows up 35 bubbles in like 45 seconds. They have little rubber bands around them, and the water pressure releases them. And now you have 35 water balloons to throw at each other. Uh, and now they came out with the new version, 
that we're showing here. It was something I saw at a Time to Play Playhouse. And we have never done this, <laughs> okay? So Dennis said, you want to practice? And I said, we can't practice. We only have two of these. So we're just going to do it. So, so this was last year when they first came out. And then you put it over a bucket or something. And it has to be a make, smooth surface, the, but they prefer wet. a bucket. You make 35 balloons. So let's... Bum, bum. All right, I'm a little shaky here because I don't know if I'm going to blow them up or do they fall off or... Oh my, oh! Okay. Okay, we can go out there. Two okay, so that was, yeah, that was the All original right. one. And now at... Uh, Time to Play Playhouse, they were showing, uh, let me look at the name of it, Bunch of Bubbles. Um, I've dropped the box. We'll see it in the video, actually. <laughs> so now yeah. you can go to that other video. Hey, Dick D. Rotolo, Man's Maddest Writer, in the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. We're on the Hudson River. There you go. Uh, we, uh, we have here the brand new... There it is down there. The Zuru Bunch of Balloons Filler Soaker. <laughs> okay. So remember Bunch of Balloons, you hook the hose up. You bunch blow of you. 35 balloons up in, I think it was under a minute. It was quite amazing. So the Super Filler Soaker is a little bit different in as much as you don't need a hose. You need a pool, a swimming pool, or maybe a river, like the Hudson River, okay? So it's kind of noisy out here and it, we're bouncing around. So actually, what I'm just gonna tell you what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna do it because I can't do the mic and do this. Gonna put it in the Hudson River. We're gonna suck up water. So what you do is take the end cap off and this becomes a 30 foot super soaker. Dennis is holding it, okay? So I'm going to do that first. So he's holding the mic while I reach into the Hudson. And ta -da, ta -da. Almost as clean as basin water. Yes. From... Now I must say it is almost okay, low so tide, which is why the river will... looks so crappy. Oh, he. <laughs> okay. Can you hold that? And I'm going to shoot toward the end of the dock and see if we get some. Well, wait a minute. I have to do that better. Let me stick it back in the river. Okay, wow. And, uh, he's doing I couldn't job. stick it down too far. Oh, okay. I'd start sucking up mud. And I think I got more water that time. Da -da. Uh, that's pretty good. Okay, except you have to aim the camera down. <laughs> he forgot to follow me. There's too many things to do. Filling it up. Yes. Delicious Hudson River water. Okay, now aim it down the dock. And... Well, it's windy here, it's but you certainly would get someone soaked. But now what we're going to do is we're going to get a bunch of balloons. Boy, thanks for doing that. That's super. And we're going to attach the balloons to the end. We're going to reach in. This will be saltwater balloons. Uh, bum, bum. Okay. Soaking up water. Water. Interesting. All right. We're going to do the first. Whoa. Fill. Okay. How does that work? So you have to do it like two or three times, but then I found out something different, which you'll see in a minute. It will start breaking off. Into the Hudson. Dun, dun. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do it over there. This is supposed to be on a smooth surface. Can you see this dock? Not so smooth. <laughs> Ta-da. I'm going to do one more. Ooh, what would happen if I filled them underwater? I don't know if you suppose. So that would be the way to do it. You can yes, actually fill up a bucket of water and then soon they're all going to fall off. So I'm going to stop here because I don't want them to fall in the river. And I'm going to do the last go round here. But this is kind of fun. So you can imagine if you're at a pool or something like that, you can run around, reach into the swimming pool, fill it with clean water. And then after they get full up, they will pop off automatically and they seal themselves as they go off. I'm just gonna hold this. Okay, that would be much bigger than that. Uh, there was a little sample here of how big it would get. 
Uh, this is under 25 bucks, and it comes with uh, 100 balloons. There's 35 on... I'm getting wind just rocking on this dock. Uh, you get three sets of 35 balloons each, and of course you can buy more. That's it. Dick Bartolo, Mads Madis Rider, and the Gizwiz. One Take Theater here on the Hudson River. Bye! Bunch of Balloons is one of those success stories of something that I feel like we covered here on the Gizwiz and then became something great. Because when we, I remember when it first started, it was like, it was hard to buy. They were really expensive. They came in like a bag and not really well packaged. And Bunch of yes. Balloons has just grown into this awesome brand that I see in every store, much less expensive. And now they have these really cool products. Yeah, uh, and you know what? On the way home, two people stopped me. Uh, walking from the marina, I had the gun, you know, just yeah. carrying it. Uh, and two people, one little girl said, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? I have to see that. And someone down at the marina came running out and said, oh, what is that? Because I bought the other bunch of balloons, but what is this? And I explained what it was. And I said, can I buy it now? Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, uh, someone else, they didn't talk to me, but I heard them say, as they walked by, they said, did you see what that guy is carrying? That looks really neat. Yeah. Yeah. So they really have stumbled onto something great. Everyone and loves with, doing balloon, water balloon fights. Nobody likes yes. making water balloons. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And also there, I believe there are more than 35 balloons in that cluster because there's a little uh, white piece of paper that is in the box. And it says there are extra balloons in your cluster to make up for balloons that may not open or may fall off before they're filled. So you'll, you, you'll, you'll still get your money's worth. So I thought that was a clever idea. I agree. I definitely yeah. agree. So uh, you can buy them at, Am uh, sorry, at uh, Toys Not R Us. Amazon. Not Amazon. Amazon. Is, no, Amazon is $40. Oh my gosh. And the list price I believe is 25. Yep. Um, but so right now the best place is, uh, are you a Target or is that he, Toys R Us? This is I Toys R Us remember. right here. Toys R Us. Okay. I think Target is also uh, $24.99. Uh, you get the gun and, oh, you know what? It looks like you this get more. This one comes with tons at, of, uh, yeah, it looks like it comes with like all sorts of different colors and. Yes. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, seven different. Uh, wow. Now that's the way to go. Because yeah. mine just came with three. Uh, I may so, have even counted wrong. It looks like eight, eight uh, different uh, colors. Oh, okay. That's four. Then down here, there's another four. Yeah, four plus four equals eight. I know how to do math. Woo um, <laughs> but yeah, this looks fantastic. And it looks like the mechanism uses a valve near the bottom. Yes. And, and, and the object here is when you run out of balloons, it's just a super soaker. Right. So exactly. that's, you know, the two, the, that's why they call it dual ambush. You can either throw water balloons at a person or shoot water at the person. That's awesome. That's really cool. Uh, and then uh, just going to a bunch of balloons website, uh, check out all, I mean, they have so many products now. This is just great. This is fantastic. I love it. Um, they have, they have a whole bunch of different uh, packs and things to check out. Love it. Bunch of balloons. Yeah, it's bunch of balloons. Someone in the Captain Jane in the chat room says he has a, uh, a concealed water pistol permit for <laughs> exactly. New York City. Exactly. Do you have a, <laughs> yeah. Do you have a carry license for that? Yes. A uh, bunch of balloons, super soaker, walking around <laughs> New York with a, a, a water weapon. Uh, awesome. Love it. Bunch of balloons. Uh, Bunch make, of come balloons. Come in out with tons Filla of products. Soka. Uh, and our final guy is for the really, really young kids. Um, it's kind of a fun thing, and it's under 20 bucks. And let's take a look at that. And here we are. Oh, there we go. Hey, Dick D. Bartolo, Mads, Maddest writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Time to play magazine. We're at VTech, uh, and VTech and Leapfrog now are the same company. So this is from uh, Leapfrog. And so this is the press luncheon. They are getting so cheap here. And I went to pick up that pizza, and she said, no, you don't take the whole thing. Just take a slice. I mean, really? Okay.
So we're talking to Jen. And Jen, what is this little guy? So this is the number 11 oven. And it's a great... Oh, number 11? Number 11 oven. So nice alliteration. So you can set the set the oven to the number that you want. What I'm going to do is put you on oh, this side. Yep, so absolutely. Da, da, okay. So you set the oven. It's going to ask you to put in two slices of pizza. And you'll put in one. Sorry, take this apart. Two slices of pizza. And it'll give you a, a recognition. I apologize you can't hear it here, but it'll actually acknowledge that you've put the two pieces in. You turn it. So there's a sensor in the oven that can look down. Yep, yep. And count. it, it senses how many pieces you've put in. And then it'll, it'll say, your pizza's done. Take it out. So you can take out your pieces. You can serve it up. Um, there's also different modes. Will it recognize peppers and tomatoes and pepperoni and mushrooms? Will it recognize like the frying pan and the egg? Um, not the egg, but the cupcakes and the bread, anything that belongs in the oven. The frying pan goes up here on the stovetop, and it makes a great little sizzle sound like it's cooking up the oh, egg. Oh, great. So it's a full-blown stove role-play experience. Finally, something I could operate. Uh, what could cook a great meal. I could cook a great meal. And what does it retail for? This is $19.99. Oh, that's very good. And is it out now? It is. It's available on. Uh, there we are. The what was the name of it again? The number loving oven. Number loving oven. Dick D. Bartolo, Maz Metis writer, and the Gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Yo, oh, she's right. You can't eat them. Bye. <laughs> That looks awesome. Uh, something that teaches, you know, uses electronic sensors to teach children how uh, to count and, and numbers. That's yeah, great. and there are, there are 30 songs and phrases in there. I did hear the frying pan. It's very cute when they put the frying pan on there. It sounds like baking, sizzling. And uh, on Amazon, it's 17 bucks. So I think uh, a youngster will have a lot of fun with it. And for some reason, the girl's version, if you want it in pink... It's nineteen dollars, <laughs> uh, and it's uh, the pink is available only online. The bluish kind of one is uh, available at at the big box toy stores. The number eleven oven. Oven. Gotta love the alliteration. Yes, uh, I know it's great, and that one you can buy on Amazon because uh, it is the lowest price uh, when I was making up the website. Perfect. But the other two gadgets, no. Uh, you might uh, be uh, enticed to eat the pizza because it looks so realistic uh, from the number 11 <laughs> yeah. oven. Uh, that's a great, great product from Leapfrog, which is now VTech. VTech and Leapfrog, same, same company. Same company. Um, perfect. The number 11 oven. Now, before we move on, I want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of uh, this episode, Casper. And I love Casper mattresses. I actually sleep every single night on a Casper mattress myself. So I can personally say that Casper mattresses are fantastic to sleep on and they do uh, they just do a great job of uh, of everything. They keep you nice and cool at night. They're the perfect the perfect bed for those Goldilocks people that don't want a bed too firm or too soft. It's uh, it's just perfect. Um, so Casper is a online retail of uh, premium mattresses at a fraction of the cost. And of course, because you are a Gizwiz viewer, we have a pretty nice deal for you. You get $50 off your mattress when you go to casper.com slash gizwiz and enter the promo code gizwiz at checkout. Casper has a whole bunch of products, but their mattresses are by far my favorite. They are absolutely amazing, made in the USA, and they have a fantastic policy of 100 nights, 100 nights to check it out before you, if, if, uh, if it doesn't work, you can return it. And there's free shipping for uh, shipping within the US and Canada. Uh, and also free shipping uh, with returns if you don't, uh, if it's just not the right bed for you. Uh, and then that means that you, you don't go to a, a store and you know, sleep on a bed that's in a showroom for just a few seconds to determine what is the perfect bed for you. You get 100 nights to check it out. And I just love the design of Casper mattresses. They really are designed like you would see a, a, a tech product nowadays. I mean, just the outside looks amazing. Of course, it feels fantastic inside. 
it's just absolutely worth it. So do yourself a favor, find the best night's rest with Casper, and you get $50 off your next purchase uh, with the promo code GIZWIZ and learn more at casper.com slash GIZWIZ. Terms and conditions apply. You can go to casper.com slash terms for more information. Thank you so much, Casper, for your support of the GIZWIZ. We love you. And with that, it's, it's time for, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Chad's yo, yo, cool. crappy and possibly not crappy corner. It's crappy corner. Yeah. corner. Get it. Okay, so it is dog month, which I'm very excited about. And Charlie the dog oh, is I can very imagine. excited about as well. Uh, this was actually a gift given to me, and of course, with all these dog products, the best way to show them off is to, to actually get Charlie and, and have him uh, try it out. So, let's head down uh, just a while ago uh, to see what this gadget is. Hey Diggy D, I'm here, and this time, Charlie, Charlie is here too. Cha-cha. Come here. He has a hamburger right now. He, he loves his hamburger. And we're checking out the Coleman Treat Launcher. The packaging got a little bit uh, messed up. This was given to me as a gift for my birthday. So this will launch your treats the, into the air. Open it. So, Ooh. To open this thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the great. Oh, look at it's him in his hamburger. Out of the packaging. And it looks like uh, there is a loading apparatus and then the treats fly out of there let's go ahead and load up a few treats charlie is here Ooh, you love your treats these are the training treats that i use so they're pretty small they're not too large um i don't know about nickel or dime size sorry and, and those are about the maximum the size that you can oh put okay in. Are they bacon flavor or peanut butter? And then they bacon or chicken? The now, first step, bacon. looks like you push this down. Now it is ready to launch. You ready, Charlie? That's the slow-mo. It, fa it fires very fast. <laughs> so fast that Charlie wasn't able to find it. <laughs> okay, well it launched, it did it correctly. The tree was right here. Charlie. <laughs> there you go. Let's show off the mechanism. You pull this down. And then a treat, you can kind of see it down there. You kind of, I had to wiggle it just a bit in order to get the uh, the treat to load in. I'm not sure if you can see that uh, so much. There's a treat in there, there you go. Um, and so now you have that loaded on there. Okay, chur chur. You got to scoop back just a bit, there you go, sit, yes. Oops, my thumb hit the, hit this, so it didn't launch quite as hard. Let's, let's try another one. Got to give it a little bit of a shake. Okay, here we go. Here's a different replay, how fast it shoots out. It's way up there oh. near the top of the frame. He sees it now, right? Nope. Okay, he never time. really did a good job this time seeing it. I just hit myself in the face. Chad. Okay. Don't Even look at Chad the operational end of the device. Okay, Charlie, we're gonna watch this one towards you. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> it hit him right on the face. Okay, well that is the, the, the treat launcher. Not quite sure if this is for every dog. We got two treats for one there. Uh, not sure if this is for every dog. You do need a dog with high, fast reflexes. And uh, we'll be testing out the, uh, the Coleman treat launcher a little bit later uh, as well. Thanks, Charlie, for being such a good pupper Charlie said, during our He's recording. a great dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it fires these off really fast. It's hard to see on the video, and it's even hard to see in person just how quickly uh, this shoots these things. So I had always kind of assumed that it was like something you could stand within a few feet of the dog and fire off, but it, the dog almost needs to be like five feet to 10 feet back in order to be able to see the trajectory of this thing. Um, but yeah. And there's and, no there's no adjustment for it, like slow, fast, nope. cl close in. No, nope, okay. not really. Uh, I can give you a better kind of close up than uh, what we showed in that video of, uh, of the mechanism. Uh, it's just a, like a handle, just like this. The treats oh. go in here in this reservoir, so you can kind of see them. Oh, one of the treats fell out. Uh, then inside there is a plunger that you pull down. 
uh, and then that opens up the area for a treat to fall in. I, I haven't been, it hasn't ever just fallen in naturally. You kind of have to give it a shake for the treat to fall in there. And then it's ready, and then you pull the trigger down here, and it fires off a treat. Let's fire off a treat in this room. Okay. See if I can. There you go. I caught it. I no, caught there, it. There you go. I, got mm, it. I, I hope got you it. like bacon. Mm, yeah. It is bacon. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you know, my my in my in my mind, I was hoping that Charlie would be able to jump up and grab it in midair, and that's not the type of dog <laughs> that I got. So. Uh, uh, maybe, and I've seen you know, other dogs do something similar to that. So uh, it is kind of nice if you don't like your hands getting all treat. Uh, you know, when you load it up once, you kind of lead the treats in there uh, and then wash your hands. And then your, your hands don't have treat smell all over them. Um, so that, that would be nice if uh, maybe you're out and about or maybe the treats really, really bother you. It also has a nice little uh, arm holder right here. So if you want to, you know, keep it around. It's, I'm just now realizing how how small this this hand <laughs> hold is i don't i was thinking that it would be great but maybe it's for the dog's paw maybe that's that doesn't quite okay that well that right. this may be a flaw in the gadget uh it wasn't uh that expensive uh, oh online well uh, what's the official name of it so it is the coleman treat launcher now the, i didn't find this oh, exact the okay. desi design uh, it's, it is made by coleman it looks, uh, you know, like this, and the uh, the packaging is also by Coleman, the outdoor company, uh, Treat Launch. Okay. Uh, and we found a version of it online for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So oh. ten ten dollars, not not too bad. Uh, and uh, it looks like the same design, except the logo is in a different place. The logo's up here near the uh, the treat holder, and uh, instead of down there where that little uh, hole is, but it still looks like it has a tiny string. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they kept that design. Maybe it's made to go on a leash instead of a... Uh, oh, that could be. Instead of around your be. arm. Here, this is the exact one like mine where it has the logo down there. Um, but yeah, so that is the Coleman Treat Launcher. Reviews aren't so great. Three out of five stars on the, on the launcher. You also have to make sure that your treats will fit and will launch because uh, I've had plenty of treats that I can just tell by eyeballing this would be too large or they the treat would be too large to fit into uh this type of launcher so the coleman treat launcher for ten dollars i'd say this is probably a crappy gadget not a not so <laughs> yeah. crappy gadget with that let's jump into dick's gadget warehouse <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse Foghorn. And Becky says, Chad, five below has a different version of the this dog out. treat launcher. Oh man, this so may be you, uh you check. Yeah, check that out. Five below. Let's. I'm just gonna go to their website and see if they. Okay. If I can yeah. Search to see if they have something treat launcher. Because then it would be five bucks. Yeah, it'd That's be the, half the price. Did it have stuff over five bucks, or is it always five below? It's always five dollars or below. Five. All Their right. website doesn't have it, but plenty of times I've gone to uh, five below and found stuff at the at the store that is not. Uh, in, uh, online, they only put yeah. a few things online. But oh, I might, I maybe need to do a follow up to this. Go to Five Below and get a treat oh, that's a good and, idea. and test it out. Oh, you should go to Five Below and get through for the rest of the month. Exactly right. Okay, well now we know what the rest of the month is going to be. Five <laughs> Below dog gadgets. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, okay, so the gadget warehouse. It is from Buddy Yates, and Buddy says this is not a warehouse video, but a two-minute update to an old warehouse video that he sent in, and he said this project is too cool not to show you. So let's see Buddy's video. Oh, LEDs already love it. Boy, hey, Dick and Chad. Buddy Yates again. You're probably wondering why I'm wiring this LED light strip to this piece of plywood. Well, it's a follow-up to an old warehouse video. 
Whoa. That looks so cool. In oh, episode 1601, you guys showed my video of an eight color LED rope light that had digital Whoa. effects. Yeah. I used several of them in the usual ways, under the beds, under the kitchen cabinets, and around the yard. At that time, I said each individual LED is addressable, but now I know that all the white LEDs are on one wire, and the RGB LEDs are in groups of six, uh, one foot long uh, groups of six. No matter. Uh, when the tornado effects are running, it really looks good. <clears throat> I had this idea for an art object over my fireplace using the rope light. It is four feet wide and three feet tall and covered with a translucent plastic panel, a textured panel, and a clear panel. A $40 box of rope lights contains 36 feet. This project uses 71 feet, uh, so it uses two kits. The remote has 28 functions, and the two strings operate independently, so there are more than 20 million combinations of colors and patterns. That's I'll never cool. get bored looking at it. Wow. But that is so cool. I added a little decoration so it's not blank when the lights are off. By the way, just for Dick, this is my fairly accurate model of Pacific Coast Railway number two that runs on G gauge track. Wow. I love the show. Keep up the great work. I love that. Oh my gosh. I do remember that. the original gadget uh, where he had it running along his, his floor and it was doing all sorts of crazy yes, stuff. Yes, yes. But is this so is neat. a great so. What a cool um, project. I put he he uh, translated kind of what he said on that video, and it's on my website. And there's a link also to the the lights that he used, um, which he got on Amazon. So it's two sets. There they are. This is the you original need, video. Yeah, the original video. Yep. So he you need two of those sets, and a plywood board, and then I think he said he had a clear plastic and a translucent plastic uh, over it. That's so and it, neat. it it it's great. It yeah. really is great. That is so cool. I would love to learn, uh, you know, what program you use or what way you kind of program all of those effects because getting those, even if every LED isn't addressable, though, that, you know, thing of six LEDs that's addressable is so cool. It'd be so neat to learn how to program that and actually change, you know, what do you use in order to, uh, to change it? Very cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Captain Jay in, in the chat room says he should just make them and sell them. Yeah, just yeah. yeah. Remake don't it. tell people. Don't tell people what's in them. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. yeah, cover the cost of the of the rope lights to sell it for a, a profit. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I love it. Uh, thank you so that's much. Great. Uh, it's great. So, buddy, buddy Yates. Thank you, buddy Yates. Gets a uh, current issue of Mad. Gets one of those thirty-five-year-old uh, Alfred E. Newman pictures. And uh, that might be the last video um, from newish people. That that was his second video. Um, so we're still looking for more people to send in more stuff. And as you know, the Gadget Warehouse segment of the show is pretty much uh, viewers, uh, a viewer segment. So a video, something you built, like Buddy H did, which was just fantastic. Something you bought and hated, something you bought and loved. Or our favorite, a gadget that you have somewhere in the basement, in a kitchen drawer. It doesn't work, or you used it, or bought it 30 years ago, and somehow you have an attraction to it. You can't throw it out. So make a little video, two to three minutes. Uh, upload it to YouTube, and at the drop-down menu, just click uh, Unlisted. And then send us the link. Don't uh, click private because then only you can watch it, not even us. Um, and get it to us soon, okay? That I think Buddy Yates was the last newish video that we have uh, here in the uh, studio. Mail at gizwiz.tv, okay? Be great. Perfect. Uh, and then the chat room is telling me over and over again, if you want to learn how to program these LEDs, watch Know How with Father Robert Balliser. He apparently uh, did an episode on how to program these LEDs. That oh. I have to watch. I'm 
definitely going to download that episode. That's great. So definitely great. check that out. Okay, That's with over that. That's twit.tv. Twit.tv. With that, let's jump into the letter. So we get questions from time to time from viewers and Steve C uh, sent me an email and said, Hey, do you know where I can find replacement straws for spray cans? You know, those little straws that like on WD 40 and I'm thinking, I don't know. You know what? I, I, I always lose them because They come with a little piece of scotch tape, and once you take it out, the scotch tape doesn't work anymore. Fortunately, WD-40 now comes with uh, two different cans where my favorite is it has a stainless steel nozzle that you can bend so you can uh, shoot WD-40 anywhere, and that is permanently attached to the can. So I started doing some um, Googling. And I found a place that wanted $10 for five of them, which is ridiculous. And then I found another place. And I sent the, you have the link there, Chad. Uh, I found, found this place on Amazon that has uh, a bunch of them for, I think it's $7. Uh, there we go. Should be, yep. There we go. Oh, six forty nine, twenty of them. And they're incredibly long. So I sent that to Steve and Steve said, oh, my God, this is great. I can cut them in half or in thirds and have 40 to 60 straws for cans. So if you um, are looking for replacement straws, I have found them. That's perfect. Yeah, absolutely. That's such a product that you think (laughs) that you need. And then when you don't have it, you go. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> you can't just go to the store and buy, buy those at yeah, Ace yeah, Hardware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Home Depot. Gosh darn it. Where are you going to get these? That's perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Straws. Yeah, go up to the uh, soda fountain. Yeah, uh, we place. got some uh, straws right over here. Yeah, the first time you said I was like, wait, what? What, what, what does it mean? <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. So, Steve, thanks for the question, and I'm glad that we found an answer. Yeah, not, not too expensive at all. Uh, just a few cents a straw. Um, yeah. That's perfect. And that was not the last straw. No, this is n- not the last straw. Not at all. Uh, we do want to give a big, big, big thank you to our patrons. Oh, wait, wait. We have to, the, uh, before we thank our patrons, uh, let's check out what the heck is it. Uh, this is the game where we get to see the gadget, but we don't know what the gadget is. Yes, uh, it's a new one. This is the second week you're seeing it. Gizwiz.biz. Uh, and here it is. It is obviously a panic button for sea creatures. Uh, it has some nice teal <laughs> coloring. That button in the middle, once you press it, uh, it, it's not good to human ears. It's really only good for aquatic life. Uh, but that is a, uh, a sea creature panic button. Uh, just in case, in case you wanted to, you know, know what it is ahead of time. A pretty good we, answer. That's a pretty good we, answer. We answer. Uh, there's 12 mad magazines, 12 of them, a dozen for correct answers. If you actually know what this gadget is, there's 24 double the mad magazines for funny, clever, interesting, and clever. And I may have said said clever twice. We want to double <laughs> double clever. Uh, so get a guess and over at gizwiz.biz. Over at gizwiz.biz, by the way, there's all sorts of write-ups about all the gadgets that we, we cover here on this show. Nick writes up nice articles about every gadget. Uh, and then gizwiz.tv is a place where you can watch us live, where you can see our show notes, and uh, get links back to gizwiz.biz and subscribe and see the chat room and that sort of thing. We want to give a big, big, big thank you to our patrons. Patreon.com slash gizwiz is the place to go to support the show. These patrons support every single week, and you can join the team. It's not quite free, 
but it is easy, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. uh, big thank you to everybody who supports this show. Uh, this wouldn't happen without you. Uh, the I mean we had a we had a sponsor this episode but it that does not uh, it's rare we have not. one maybe once every five or six weeks exactly yeah. so uh, we really rely on you guys uh, to make the show happen so thank you thank you thank you for your support of the show patrons get access to voting on all sorts of things that we can't decide ourselves like what the crappy gadget's gonna be or anything else that jumps into our mind. Now, we don't know the answer to, so uh, you do get a little bit of a perk. Also, some people don't want to support every single week. Totally understand that. There's also a PayPal link on our website under the Patron tab. Uh, and big thanks to everybody who supports the show. That about wraps it up for this week. See you next episode. I'll be here.